of arthritis, you think of the elderly, but that's not always the case. Children get the disease too, and it can take an added toll on emotions when sufferers are so young. News 3's Eden Schultz introduces us to a young boy from Sessor battling juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Tonight's To Your Health. Lucas Gunter plays basketball with his brother yeah. Eli like any other three-year-old. He loves basketball and he loves baseball and he's, he's very athletic already. Watching him play on a good day, you would never guess. But Lucas is not always so nimble. It hurts so bad. At 18 months old, he started getting pain in his right leg. This one hurts and this, this one don't hurt. Yeah, I keep walking with this one and this better. It, it's better. And this is hurting. He'd wake up instantly and he couldn't move and he'd be crying and or crawling out of the room. His parents, Angie and Brian, just thought it was growing pains. So did doctors. Children don't get arthritis. That's just what we thought. You know, finally after about six or seven months, I said his calf was shrinking. The muscle was not growing. I said there's something wrong with him. It was juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So Lucas goes through physical therapy every day now, stretching his leg. Five, six. And pedaling on a bike. And his parents go through the agony of a sick child. He'll even notice, you know, look, Mom, I can walk, you know. He, and that's sad for a three-year-old, you know. I don't want him to hurt at all. I wish I could take the pain. I really do. Instead, daily medication takes some of the pain away and occasional steroid shots. Mom and Dad hope it's enough to keep the crippler at bay, but they struggle knowing the future is uncertain. It's hard. It's hard on your family and, you know, on mine and Brian's relationship, it's because we just feel horrible. He's got to go through all this pain, and there's nothing he can do. You can take the medication and the shots and stuff, but he's still got to live day to day. You just want a different answer than it's arthritis and it's never going away. You can join in the fight for Lucas and other arthritis sufferers in Southern Illinois. Tune into the Arthritis Foundation Telethon that's coming up this Sunday from 3 until 6 right here on WSIL TV 3. A little later on, some of the treatments for juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. But first, we're down to the Sweet 16.